And here we go. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to BWT in Sports. If you haven't subscribed already, please check out our channel and please hit the like and subscribe button. We appreciate you. We're going back in time. We're going back to November 28th. We're going back to when Vladimir Klitschko was the unified heavyweight champion of the world with Tyson Fury. Okay. So this is a request by Mr. DJ Slick, who requested that we go back in time and watch Fury versus Klitschko. And uh, can I comment on it? Because I didn't comment on it. So again, don't forget to check out our Facebook page. Click the link and like it. So I'm just going to be commentating on the five. I probably won't interact in the chat section. So I'm going to try and just comment, concentrate but primarily on commentating on this fight. Okay. So we're going to go right to Germany now. For Fury versus Klitschko. Okay. So in the red corner, Tyson Fury, 24 fights, 24 wins, 18 by KO. He comes to us from the UK. He's known as the Gypsy King. Tyson, too fast. Fury. The Fury is walking from back, back and forth, back and forth, goading Klitschko. He's walking back and forth. Come, she's putting his mouth. Fury just throwing a bunch of punches, walking back and forth, looking at Klitschko. Looking at Klitschko. And now, standing beside him, Uncle Bashir, Jonathan Banks, Vitaly Klitschko. Let's look at the champion, Vladimir Klitschko. 67 fights, 64 wins, 53 by KOs, with only three losses. He is the unified and universally recognized heavyweight champion of the world, Vladimir. Dr. Steel Hammer, Klitschko. Klitschko kisses his glove, more circumspect. There are lights dazzling all around this arena in Germany. Klitschko and Fury come face to face once again. They've been looking at one of the press conferences, but now they're coming face to face. I believe Tony Weeks is the referee here for this fight. They're just waiting for Fury to come to the center of the ring. And here he does. So Fury's got on the back of his trunks, Venezuela. Fury looking into the eyes of Klitschko, still goading Klitschko. Still goading Klitschko, looking at him, smiling at him. They touch glove, Klitschko's expression hasn't changed. And here we go, for the heavyweight championship of the world. Can Fury do it? Or is Klitschko going to show once again why he's Dr. Steelhammer? Just waiting for the bell to go now. A lot of people around the world expecting Fury to get knocked up by Klitschko tonight. Klitschko, their heavy favourite coming into this fight. And here we go. This is round one. Klitschko comes to set the ring and Fury's slightly backing out. A lot of fainting from Fury. Fainting, fainting, fainting. Fury, lots of head movement. Lots of head movement from Fury. Just standing in front of Klitschko, just misses with a jab. Little jab there from Fury. Fury, lots of upper body movement and the head is moving. Just looking at Klitschko, not allowing Klitschko to land the jab. Jab there from Fury again. Very jittery Tyson Fury. Tyson just touching, touching, touching Klitschko. Klitschko walking through to the, to the ropes. Fury hits him with a jab, come left hook. And again, jab. And Fury skirts around the ring. Wide apart legs. Jab, 
jab. Now, Klitschko does hit Fury with a jab. Klitschko walking Fury back to the ropes. Fury. Jittery, jittery, jittery. Lots of head movement, not keeping the head still for Klitschko to set the left jab. The great left jab. Klitschko does land a couple of jabs there, though. Jab from Fury. Jab again. They both jab. First real success of the jab from Klitschko there. Jab there from Fury. Klitschko is looking for a home for that right hand, trying to find some rhythm as well to put the jab and then the right hand down the pipe. That's what Klitschko will look to do. Bouncing Klitschko. Double jab right hand there. Fury just cuffs Klitschko on the back of the head and Klitschko hits him back. They're in a clinch. Tiny Weeks warns them both. And back they go again. Klitschko tries to land a jab. Fury just moves out the way of it. Lots of jittery jab. Little jab from Fury there. Moving from left to right and then right to left. Fury against the ropes. And then ties up Klitschko. And then they're back and they're setting the ring again. Klitschko jumping back and forth and few clips in for one, two. Holds and they're back again. Klitschko bouncing back and forth. Double jab from Klitschko. All messy on the inside there. Fury holds him up. Klitschko trying to find good one, two there from Fury. Another jab there. Removing his head. Hands down by the side. And he's calling Klitschko onto him, signaling him with his right hand. End of the round. And Klitschko Fury talks to Klitschko as he goes back to the corner, arms in the air, still goading Klitschko. And back to the corner goes Fury. Fury made it a point at the end of the first round to stop what he was doing, look at Klitschko, have a word with Klitschko as he's going back to the corner. Raise his hands and go back to the corner. Jumping back in the corner there. Trying to pull through as to uh, as to what to do. I'd give that round to Tyson Fury. Just. None of them did a lot. In the first round, to be honest, there's a lot of jittery movement. Tyson, very cool and calm. And in the corner, Peter Fury getting him instructions. You can see Fury, uh, Peter's talking to Tyson. And Tyson moving his head to say, yeah, I'm going to keep him moving my head. I'm going to keep moving my head. And by Tyson moving his head, it's making it difficult for Klitschko to land the jab. Fury comes up trying to find a one-two. But Klitschko blocks it. Back again, round two now. Klitschko comes out with a little bit more urgency. Tyson shoots the left hook, short one. Klitschko blocks it. Klitschko trying to close the gap between himself and Fury. Bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. Trying to find rhythm, trying to put that jab. There's a nice jab there from Klitschko. Lands on Fury. Fury didn't move his head at that point. Jab from Fury, jab from Klitschko to the body of Fury. Fury's jab's missing this round so far. Little jab to the body of Fury. Good one, two there from Fury. Try the right hand there that lands at the side ahead of Klitschko's head. That was a one, two, good one, two there. Fury through the jab, but Klitschko's landing much cleaner in this round. Another jab from Klitschko. Klitschko's jab has been more effective in this round. And what's significant in this round is Fury stopped moving his head as much, and he's getting hit with a jab more and more in round two. First round, Fury is very jittery. This round, he's not moved his head as much. So he's given Klitschko another look, but this look is allowing Klitschko to land the jab. Klitschko bouncing, bouncing, as he did against Pulev, and when he bounces like that, you know he's trying to bring the left hook up. He tries a one, two, three there, very scrappy, and then try to turn Klitschko and taps on his backside. 
Coach Joe back to work. So far, I'd say Coach Joe's won this round with a minute to go in it. Jab from Fury. So Fury tries a right hand, but that just hits the top of Coach Joe's shoulder. They both are in close. Nobody's doing any work on the inside. Klitschko bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. Bounce again, bounce again. Nothing coming from Klitschko, though. Klitschko's been more accurate with the jab in this round. That's why I would score it for Klitschko so far. Klitschko's more effective with the jab this round because Fury's not moving his head. Another jab from Klitschko. Fury moving his feet. But his head is still, and his jab is out of range this round. Oh, short little left hook inside there from Klitschko. As Tyson tried to get in, they tie up close. Klitschko bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. Very not moving his head like he did the first round. He's not as jittery as he was in the first round. Nice right left hook there from Fury that catches. Nice left hook there was from Klitschko that caught Fury off balance. And then Fury bounced into the referee, end of the round. I'm going to give that round to Klitschko. I think Klitschko did better work. He landed a jab more crisper. A lot of Fury's punches were out of range. So that round I give to Klitschko. Just one apiece. Just seen clips here. Fury throwing a combination, but Klitschko blocking most of it. And then trying to turn Klitschko around. Yeah, Fury tried something there, tried to step inside. Klitschko clipped him with a left, short left up on the inside. This is coming out for round three now. There's one a piece at the moment for me. Let's see if there's more head movement from Fury in round three. Klitschko comes out for round three, doubling up the jab. Klitschko had success. Now, now Fury's turned from southpaw to orthodox, then they're back to southpaw. So Fury's cut fighting at the southpaw stance, it looks at the moment. Bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. Klitschko. Fury's got his hands down by his side. Very vulnerable. Walking back and forth. Golding Klitschko. Not work from Click from Fury though. Fury just showboating in front of Klitschko from a southpaw stance. So there's a different look for Klitschko now. Three hands down by the side, moving from left to right, right to left. No punches have been thrown. Now Fury's got his hands behind his back. Now he's golding Klitschko on mind games with Klitschko now. He's turned south, but Klitschko now slightly confused as to what Tyson's doing now. <coughs> Klitschko. Tyson shoots the right jab to Klitschko. But not much output from Tyson in this round, by the way. A lot of goading, lots of showboating, but only punches being thrown for Tyson in this round. Klitschko bouncing, trying to work out what's going on here. Tyson's right hat and short left hand out the range now as he's gone southpaw. Klitschko tries to throw a right hand. Fury just moves out the way of it. A lot of posture in this round. No work from, most, from both guys. Don't know how he punches him. Thrown, actually landed in this round. Klitschko trying to make a fight of it, but Fury just off the back foot. So now there's a jab from Klitschko. Fury misses with the right hand. Fury misses with, again with the left. Klitschko ties him up. I don't know how you can score this round for anybody, man, because nothing's coming from both guys. Nice short left hook in there from Klitschko, and then Tyson tries to hit him around the back of his head as they come in close, and the referee warns Tyson for punching around the back of the head. 
Klitschko bouncing, bouncing. Gap from Klitschko. Tyson tried the right hand. Klitschko moved that away of it. Circled nicely. Nice jab from Fury there. Jab now out of the range from Fury. Do you try the right hand? Just goes off balance and Klitschko ties him up. Klitschko bounced it again. End of the round. I don't know how you scored that round because neither guy did anything. Fury spent most of, most of a minute and a half just looking at Klitschko, moving from left to right, right to left, and just goading him. And Klitschko stood the rest of the round just standing up looking at uh, Fury um, and not throwing a punch at him. So I don't know how you scored that round. Because there was not work, much work rate from either guy. If you can watch it, if you can get onto YouTube and watch this, I mean, you're watching, listen to this commentary, but if you can get onto YouTube on another window, you can listen in live and watch the fight, and then you can score it yourselves. So there's three rounds, one round to Fury, one round to Klitschko, and one even, because I can't score that last round. There's one, one, uh, yeah. Okay, this must be round four, I take it. A few tries a short left up there. He's gone back orthodox, and Fury tries to throw a right hand, which is missing Klitschko. Three back to orthodox again. Bouncing now, moving. Misses the Klitschko. He ducks out the left jab and right hand of Klitschko's combination there. Fury comes out, doubling up the jab. Nice from him. Now Faisal tries for a left hook round the guard of Klitschko. Faster pace in round three. Final or four, in fact. Klitschko tried to throw the left hook, didn't land, and then ties Fury up. Klitschko bouncing, bouncing, looking for the left hook. Jab from Klitschko. Jab to the body from Fury. Jab again from Fury. Fury faints, doubling up the jab. More activity from Fury this round. Klitschko tries to throw the jab, Fury makes him miss. Jab from Fury. More for active round for Fury this round, less clowning around. More serious business in round four from Fury. Klitschko tries to throw a double jab right hand, but smothers his own work. Gets in close, ties up with Fury. Fury tries to step aside, throws a left-right combination there. Klitschko has forced the hole for a second. Nice little work there from Fury there. With a wide left hook right hand combination, which caught Klitschko, made him have to hold. Fury's been doing a better work in this round. One minute to go. Good little right hand there from Klitschko. One, two there. Now Klitschko tried to hit Fury and Fury tried to respond and Klitschko came back. Fury jabbing to the body. Fury now turning southpaw. Now back to orthodox. Very much Klitschko following Fury around, not cut off the range. Fury tries this wild sort of like left right hand and they're both holding on in the inside no work on the inside but klitschko's just following fury around the ring he's not closing the range down on fury he's just walking fury he's walking around the ring with fury he's not actually doing anything to shut the good little short right hand there from fury he's not doing anything klitschko to shut the range down on Fury. he's not klitschko's doing nothing to shut fury down he's just following around the ring doing the same things round after round this is round four back to the corner it's the fury round that Klitschko's got to close Fury down. He's just walking around the ring with Fury. He's following Fury around the ring. Whatever Fury does, he just follows him around the ring. He's not closing him down. He's not being creative. He's not looking for opportunities. Let's look at this here. 
Nice jab there from Klitschko. Just watching a replay here. There wasn't much to show in replay, just the two guys looking at one another. Okay, now we're going out for round five, I believe. I gave that last round to Fury. Better work rate, landing more punches. This is round five. Klitschko holds Fury. Klitschko tries for a combination. Fury holds him up. Slipped under the shot. Again, Klitschko's come out with the intention to start fast. Smothering his work on the inside. Both guys clinch him. There you go again. Now, Vladimir tries to get closer to Fury. Not close the range, I just get closer to him. What I don't understand about what Vladimir is doing is that he's not a good inside fighter anyway. He's not closing the range down. Fury tries to throw a combination. Vladimir blocks it. Two guys are holding again. Vladimir hits him around the back of the head. And referee warns Weeks. Weeks warns Fury for his punching around the back of the head. Should have warned Vladimir as well, to be fair. Good right hand there from Vladimir. Fury through the jab. Vladimir through the right hand over the top. Fury took it well. Nice scoring punch there from the unified champion. Will that give the champion confidence to come forward? Bouncing, bouncing, Vladimir. Tyson on the jab. Two, three jabs, the landing on Klitschko. Klitschko dropping back every time Fury throws the jab. Jab and grab from Klitschko. Non-committal. Fury tries to throw a jab, come hook. Nice jab and right hand there from Fury. Bit sloppy, but he threw a right hand there. That caught Klitschko. The Fury trying to do a little bit of work on the inside there and tries to turn Klitschko. Klitschko just ties him up. Not interested in doing any work on the inside of Klitschko. But Fury is allowing Klitschko to tie him up all the time. Why is not Fury trying to throw an uppercut on the inside or try and fight on the inside of Klitschko? He knows Klitschko is not very good on the inside. That's why he doesn't hold him. If he doesn't try to step, sidestep Klitschko there. One, two, right hand. And then Fury, as he throws a right hand, does a 360 pivot. Right hand round the, round the shoulder of Klitschko by Fury. Kind of like a roundhouse punch. Goes right round the guard of Klitschko's high held. Klitschko is cut. Yeah, there's a cut in Klitschko's face. Looks like the right side of Klitschko's face. Klitschko's now bending down. He's got a habit of bending down. Before he throws a little... Good right hand over the top there from Klitschko. And there's the end of the round. Klitschko landed two good right hands in that round. But I've got to give that round again to Fury. Klitschko had no intention at any point in time in, in the round when he got close to Fury that he wanted to work on the inside. As soon as he had a chance to get close to Fury, he just tied him up. Let's look at this again. Klitschko and Fury on the inside there. And then Klitschko hitting Fury at the back of the head. Of course, Fury hit Klitschko at the back of the head first. That's where it started. There he goes. Inside, close, holding one another. And then Fury hits him in the back of the head. And then Klitschko hits Fury at the back of the head. There's retaliation, the Klitschko punch in the back of the head. I don't understand why Klitschko's corner is not putting any urgency on their man to, and to close Fury down or to get to work on the inside, even though Klitschko's not a great worker on the inside. This now, good little short left hook there from Fury. This is round six. The Fury's ahead up by 
two for me in this fight. Two rounds. Nice one, two there from Fury. Smiling and goading Klitschko all the time. Klitschko tried a one, two, famous one, two there. Fury rolled inside and outside and stopped Klitschko from that attack. Klitschko using the jab. Fury using the jab to the body. Fury leans on the outside of the jab or slips inside the jab. He doesn't allow Klitschko to hit and clean with the jab most of the time, which means if he can't hit, let, he can't land the jab, then there's no space for him to land the right hand, which is Klitschko's honey punch. Land the left jab, find a space for the jab, get the right hand behind it. He's unable to do that because Fury's not allowing him to do that because of head movement, because of body work. Who is constantly changing look from Southpaw to Orthodox. Double triple jab there from Fury. All of them landed on Klitschko. Let's get his hand behind his back there, Fury, now. Golding Klitschko again. Oh, Klitschko jab just out of range. Klitschko's been doing the same thing every round. Fury's been mixing it up. Great challenge tonight for the um, unified champion. Can he mix it up? Can he make the adjustments? Good one, two there for Fury. Try to throw a right hand. Klitschko just slipped under it and holds on to Fury. Nice hard jab there from Klitschko, though. Bonds well there. Fury, he, Klitschko's holding on to Fury. Bouncing again, Klitschko. Bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. Standing in front of Fury, but do, not letting his hands go. Fury's throwing his wide right hand and throwing the jab now back. Fury's jabs are more effective than Klitschko's tonight. And that's where he's, he, he's getting points. And that's scoring Klitschko because of the more effective jab for the most part. End of the round. It's a great round. I have to give it to Fury again. this point tyson fury is up by a couple of rounds that was a nice one two good straight left there with the guard of klitschko watch it again and he tries the one two from the orthodox style he's not throwing a straight right hand he's throwing a right hand kind of a a looping right hand a wide wide winging right hand so it goes around the around the guard of klitschko This is round seven. Jab from Fury here in round seven. Klitschko meets him with a jab. Again, Klitschko has been following Fury around the ring. Fury looking for the right hand there. A looping right hand. He's being, being more aggressive with that right hand. Bison throws a body shot and then... Uh, Right hand to the belly and then spins Klitschko and then taps him on his ass. Grab the entertainer. Here goes through again with that looping right hand around the guard of Klitschko. And work Rick alone, Ron. Fury's winning this round and work Rick alone. Klitschko's just standing and looking at Fury for the most part and then wanting to grab him as soon as he gets a chance. Tie him up and grab him. Again. You can see all along Klitschko's trying to set up the left hook 
and he ties up Fury on the inside, tries to find an uppercut, and obviously Fury's a better inside fighter, catches a clip to go on the inside. Tyson looking for a way to throw a body shot to Klitschko as they're tying, getting close. All Klitschko seems to want to do now is grab Tyson every time they're close. Just grab Tyson. Klitschko bouncing, bouncing again. As soon as he gets close to Fury, he just wants to hold him up. I don't know if he's been hurt by Fury or he wants to buy by time or clear his head. He just does not want to engage with Fury up close. Just tie him up. Again, Klitschko's going to throw the right hand, but thought twice about it. Swelling on Klitschko's eyes. Got worse. One, two, three. Nice right hand there from Fury. No real power, though. Klitschko bouncing. Bloodied right eye. Stalking, stalking, stalking. But not closing the range. Just stalking, following Fury. Fury around the ring. Another jab in the eye of Klitschko. That's not going to help his vision. Up close again. Holds Fury. Fury again has a big winging right hand, which then sends him to the South Pole stance. And behind the back in the South Pole stance, Fury. Big jabs, Klitschko. For the most part, none of these guys are trying to make a fight of it. Klitschko, when he gets close, wants to tie Fury up. And Fury, when he gets the opportunity, he will spot the jab and, and switch him out off of the southpaw. This is not, he's not exactly trying to rip the title away from the champion. But he's effective with what he's doing. Another round to Fury. It doesn't seem any urgency in Klitschko's corner. The body language seems like it seems everything's okay, but there's there are problems in that Klitschko corner. You go to that Klitschko camp because Klitschko just following him round the ring, following him round the ring, following him round the ring. Klitschko gets close to Fury's tying him up, holding him up. There's no real urgency from the champion. As for Fury, you must be thinking his Christmas, all his Christmases are coming early. Champion doesn't want to commit. In close, always wants to hold and hug up. Well. Wow. This is round eight. Fury versus Klitschko for the unified heavyweight championship of the world. Klitschko the champion. He holds the ropes as he dances along it. Whatever. I don't know why he was doing that. He just was. Uh oh, the referee's breaking the two up. And now, right now, that's because Fury had his gum shield not in his mouth. Now his gum shield's in the mouth. Klitschko again gets close to Fury, then ties him up. Fury hits him with a little short body shot. Jab from Klitschko. Fury brought his left hand down like he was swatting a fly. Fury seems a bit more aggressive in his rounds, firing shots at Klitschko. And Klitschko looks a bit confused at the moment as Fury works inside. Nice jab from Klitschko there. Rocking the head back a few. They tie it close again. Every time Klitschko gets close, he just wants to tie Fury up. Don't ask me why. Just doesn't want to commit. Anytime he gets close, ties up Fury again. Imagine you're the unified heavyweight champion of the world. Every time you go close, you just want to tie up. the challenger. Tie him up, tie him up, tie him up. Tie some jab, and then Klitschko leans on Fury. Referee says break and then back to the second ring again. Klitschko ties Fury up again, holds him, leans on him. Klitschko got himself into some very bad habits. Nice left hook there from Fury. He's got himself into really bad habits because against smaller guys, that works. Against a guy bigger than yourself, leaning on, you're going to be more tied. Tyson tries a wild right hand over the top there. 
Klitschko is throwing hardly any punches. He just wants to tie Fury when he gets close. Fury on the other hand is landing the odd jab here and there. Tempting to throw the right hand. Klitschko bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. Fury try the right hand again. Klitschko close range down. Get that right hand from landing on the chin rather than landing. Maybe on his on his arm instead. Again, Klitschko had a chance to get close, and what he's doing he just wants to grab Tyson. Jab from Klitschko there. Another jab from Klitschko. Big jab there from Fury. 20 seconds to go in the round. Did Klitschko have a strong finish for the round? No, nope. Klitschko does not want to engage. This is giving me another round to Fury. Left hook there, short from Klitschko. Try to get a short left hook. Fury's wise to it. Blocks. He tried a right hand there, Klitschko. End of the round. This fight so far has been about what Klitschko didn't do as opposed to what Tyson did do. Klitschko has so far has enclosed a range down in Fury. Klitschko has, uh, every time he gets a chance to engage with Fury, to hit him with uppercuts on the inside or fight on the inside, he's holding Fury. Every minute he gets a chance, Klitschko is holding Fury. Doesn't want to throw any punches, doesn't want to engage. In the corner there, we're seeing Asgarte here, Clifton Mitchell, and of course, a great piece of Fury. A nice jab there from Klitschko, Rock Tyson's head back in that clinch there. This guy's got to do something different. Okay, this is round nine of 12 for the unified heavyweight championship of the world. Klitschko's got to do something different. Tyson is winning this fight because Klitschko's not throwing any punches. Tyson holds the side of the ring, rope, and then just Pulls away from Klitschko, trying out, holding on the inside. Jab from, double jab from Klitschko. Without Klitschko trying to throw the jab there and then pulling away. Typical Klitschko, jab and pull yourself away. Klitschko now holding Fury up. Klitschko has no intent, even the jab, he's not even full in the jab, throwing the jab at full extension, just half a jab. And then he ties up Fury again. Klitschko, for the most part of this fight, has been holding Fury. In the last three rounds, he must have held Fury at least between nine to 12 times in the last two, three rounds. Good right hand there from Klitschko. A lot of good right hand. That's clean. That's a good right hand from Klitschko there. That was good. Fury acknowledged that right hand. Best punch of the fight from Vladimir Klitschko. Back. Best punch in a fight so far, period. Clean one two there from Klitschko in round nine. The best yet from the unified heavyweight champion of the world. Are we going to see more of that now? There's a nice right hand there from Klitschko, and it definitely got Fury's attention. Right hand again tries to land, skims on the top of Fury's head. The two get in close. Body shots there from Fury as he's in close. Checks his head up. Good right hand there from Klitschko. Will that encourage him to do more? Oh, big left hook there from Fury. And a right and a left. And Klitschko holds on. The Fury answers Klitschko. First it was the Fury right with the Klitschko right hand. And then Fury caught Klitschko off balance it with a big left hook. One, two here. The fight's warming up now. Because guys are starting to let their hands go. Klitschko and Fury tying up. Again. Klitschko let the right hand go. Fury let the, his left hook go. Two big shots landed in the round. And now they just collapse them into one another. They get on the ropes. A little bit more entertainment here in round nine. Punches are starting to fly here. The champion finally got Fury's number. Good jab there from Fury back there. The longer reach there. Beating Klitschko to the jab. The 
the first time we saw signs that Klitschko might just be starting to work Fury out. Nice left, right there from Fury. Klitschko pushes Fury off, end of the round. That was a more promising round for the champion. He landed some good shots there on Tyson Fury, but Tyson responded with a big left hook. Let's see if we can watch replay again of this. The nice clean one two, best punch from Klitschko in that round. Beautiful one two. Let's get one two clean on Tyson's chin. Good shot. Tyson's here, come on. And then Tyson catches. Klitschko with a great left hook there. He tries to follow up, but Klitschko slips it all. Best round of a fight so far, round nine. Um, going to give it to Fury, though. There we go. Klitschko looking to hold. Big left hook there for Fury. His little uppercut through the middle. Yeah, I'll give that round to Fury. Just some work rate. Klitschko landed one good shot in that round. This is round 10. The championship round's coming up. Both guys with the jab there. Glenn McCrory has to fight a draw. Don't know how he's got to fight a draw for me. Double jab, triple jab from Fury. Hits Klitschko with it. Three jabs from Fury. Nice stuff there. Another jab from Fury. Another jab from Fury. On his bike now, Fury using the jab. Jab to the body. Jab to the stomach back. Jab to the head, then the right hand. Then Klitschko, as he falls off balance, he switches from the right hand to the slip to the south pole stance so he throws a right hand goes off balance and spins and ends up going in the south pole stance nice to get yourself out of trouble but it's a genuine mistake jab jab from fury and then it goes south pole and then back to orthodox there are mistakes that fury is making in this fight a guy a bit more agile and more a guy more committed would have been giving Fury problems tonight. Pitch guy just following Fury around the ring. More interested in his own safety and his own preservation than actually trying to win and retain his title. One two from Fury. Again, Pitch got turned his back on Fury and Fury lands a left hook from the last round. Pitch got turned his back. And Fury land a big left hook. This time he just touches him with a left hook. Okay, Klitschko just good luck, short right hand there from Klitschko. Tries to follow the mechanical one, two, three, double jab right hand. Fury ain't having none of it, slips under it all. Again, slips under. Klitschko trying to hold Fury. Fury tries a wide left hook. Try and catch Klitschko as he's pulling back from punches. This is, this is a few round for me. Again, Klitschko wanting to hold and pull Fury across the ring. I don't know if Klitschko's knackered or Klitschko has just got in so many bad habits now. And he's holding guys. South, Fury in the south ball stance now. Upright, tall. Put his hands down by his side. Now back to orthodox. Now he hits Klitschko to the body, spins Klitschko around. All Klitschko's doing is holding, 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 like he went to grappling school or something. Fury's been an absolute nightmare for Klitschko tonight. He's turned from Orthodox to Southpaw, then from Southpaw back to Orthodox. Good one-two there from Klitschko. Well, not enough to win the round for me. Fury again, the jab. Hands down by the side, got one hand down, both hands down by the side. Walks into Klitschko and bounces him as the band well goes. Goes back to the corner. What about the headbutt? What about the headbutt? I can't tell if it's a headbutt or a clash of heads, to be honest. I really can't. I mean, you know, they're both tall guys. They're both going on the inside. So there's always a possibility when, you, when you've got a situation like that where I would out, out and out call it headbutt. 
What Louis, what Victor Ortiz did against Mayweather, that was a headbutt. That was an intentional headbutt. What these two guys are doing, because they're both quite tall and they're both trying to get on the inside and one's holding or false and hold all the time, that's going to happen. Similar height, you're going to get headbutts. It's going to happen. I wouldn't say it's an intentional headbutt, though. Okay, now this is round 11. Klitschko's got to do something different in round 11. He's got to knock Tyson Fury out to retain the titles because he has been outboxed. Most of it because one, two, three, four from Klitschko trying to find a combination there. Slipped Tyson, slipped all of that. Trying to throw a mechanical left up there and Fury just slipped under it. It's been slippery stuff from Fury there. Stop Klitschko from landing punches. Being invasive. Lots of head movement. Not being able for Klitschko to set the jab up. And that's what's really put, made it difficult for Klitschko. Round 11 now. What's Klitschko going to do? Fury again on the jab. Two guys hold. What is Klitschko doing? He wants to dance with Fury. Again, he's holding Fury. I don't know what he's doing. Looks disorganized, Klitschko. He's grabbing Fury for what reason? What is he holding, what's he holding, what's he holding Fury up for? He wants to kiss him. Look, look at this. Klitschko must be knackered. Let's go bouncing again. I still what he, he's not doing anything on his. Uh, how many uppercuts have Klitschko thrown on, on the inside? How many punches has Klitschko tried to throw on the inside? At least Fury's tried to throw body shots. Very low activity work in this round. Good right hand there from Fury. Then tries to punch Klitschko around nearby the kidneys. Holding and then Klitschko tried the headbutt there. It looked like Klitschko, sorry, a bit of a headbutt there on Klitschko. That one looked like a headbutt. Klitschko in close there. Tyson Fury looked for an accommodation on the inside there. Klitschko. Fury turns to southboard and tries to land a big right hand. It's all very sloppy in round 11. Very, very sloppy. South four to Orthodox. Left hook tried there from Klitschko. Fury blocked it. Klitschko now cut over the left eye. There was damage on the right and damage on the left. Good right hand there from Fury. Fury punching the body there of Klitschko. Both guys look tired, to be honest. Oh, good left hook there from Fury. On the inside. And another big left hook there from Fury on the inside. And Klitschko holds. And Fury punches around the back of the Klitschko. And one point off. One point off for Fury. And around and Fury mutters something to Klitschko. He looks tired and so does Klitschko. But a coming out for the 12th and final round here. Watching replay again. Good left hook inside there from Fury. And then Klitschko goes off balance again. Around the back of the head. Right eye's got blood. Right From right eye break, you can see blood coming out of Klitschko's eye from his eyebrow. Putting some stuff over the eye, Vaseline over the eye, where the cut is. This must be the 12th and final round coming up here. This is it, round 12 for the heavyweight championship of the world. And Tyson comes out, frame punches. And again, Klitschko has to tie up there. I gave Fury the last round, by the way. Uh oh, referee is warning Fury now for use of the head. This is a 12th round. Klitschko's got to knock Fury out to win. Right hand from Fury. And a left hook. 
all very scrappy though. Let's go doing the same old thing. Nice combination. If you're trying to put some spite in his punches now in round 12. He ducks in. Clutch got holes again and holes fury. I don't know what Klitschko's doing. No idea what he's doing. I mean, did he really think he was going to win, or win his world? It's holding up, like they're holding, 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 holding all night. Now Fury's in the corner now. Klitschko's more happy to just hold Fury. Well, got, every time he gets close to Fury, he's holding him, holding him, holding him, holding him. Right hand there from Klitschko. That was a good right hand there from Klitschko. That was a good right hand from Klitschko. Nice right hand. The three takes it well. Again. They could try to throw some more punches. Three throws one, two. And a lot of Klitschko's going to get a knockout tonight. Nice one, two there from Klitschko. And Fury answers it back. The two standing in the center of the ring. Klitschko holding up Fury. Again, Klitschko holding Fury. Oh, nice little shot there from Klitschko. Left hook on the inside, caught Fury clean. Fury raises his arms. Klitschko raises his arms aloft. And now he wait for the judges. Oh. Well, Dave McCraw has got it 114-116. And as you know, and the new heavyweight champion of the world, Tyson. Too fast. Fury. Tyson Fury dethrones Vladimir Klitschko to become the unified heavyweight champion of the world. Thank you so much for listening. This has been BWTN Sports. Klitschko versus Fury. One. We're out. Take care.